Hey everybody. Alright, so I'm going to try to actually read some of the statistics for you guys instead of just ranting. <clears throat> Hemp is an effective biofuel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, crops such as wheat, barley, and corn have been used to make ethanol. However, there are different processes of fermentation available to turn hemp into ethanol. It makes much more sense to use non-food source such as hemp to make fuel. <clears throat> but again, you know, hemp can be used as a food source too, so just keep that in mind. Not only that, but hemp grows well in lesser quality soil conditions. It also helps regenerate the soil. And compared to wheat and corn, hemp bioethanol is also safer to transport, similar to biodiesel. Another good benefit. There's so many benefits, like they can't even add them all because there's just so many good things about hemp and there hasn't been enough attention put into it. <clears throat> On purpose, of course. Hemp biofuel energy potential. Number one, hemp is ready to harvest in only four months, so it's quick. You can start doing it now and be ready for winter. Hemp attracts relatively few insects, pests, or lesser amounts of pesticides are required. That's great. <clears throat> hemp is highly resistant to fungal diseases. Yes. Hemp can grow taller than weeds. Hemp requires less fertilizers for growth. Hemp fuel yield is 207 gallons per hectare. This is four times higher than soybeans, which have also been used as biofuel crop. Hemp biodiesel may be a carbon neutral replacement for diesel. <clears throat> hemp ingests a much higher rate of CO2 than trees, so it helps extract the, the, the CO2 from the atmosphere. So like I've said, it cleans everything that it's around. It's ridiculous, dude. It's it's really our miracle crop here, and like nobody's talking about it, which makes me just, it's insane in my opinion, but <clears throat> it's by design. So anyway, more biodiesel facts. It can be stored anywhere petroleum diesel fuel is stored, so you can use the same storage facilities. Uh, it has powered vehicles for over 30 million road miles in the U.S. I didn't know that. It has been used for over 20 years in Europe. Well, that's, you know, they got a lot of shit going ahead of us here, there in Europe. <clears throat> The exhaust odor smells of hemp, popcorn, or french fries, so it doesn't give you a headache like this fucking petrol shit does. That's good. It smells kind of good. I, that sounds lovely to me. Because it is more lubricating than petroleum diesel, biodiesel bio can extend the life expectancy of diesel engines. So, again, more of these benefits that just happen to go along with hemp because, again, it's the crop from God. It's the miracle plant. So not only using it is good for the environment, good for everything else, it's eco-friendly, all this and that, but it also it helps your engine run better. Like, there's so many good reasons to use it, it's ridiculous that you guys won't use it. Its fuel consumption, power output, auto ignition, and engine torque are all similar to that of petroleum diesel. So they're even saying it performs similarly to petroleum diesel, yet it's better than petroleum diesel because it's better for your engine and it's better for the environment. It has been tested oh, under the Clean Air Act and found to meet the standards. Okay. <clears throat> So that's good, too. Several government agencies, including the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, the Congressional Budget Office, CBO, and the Department of Defense, DOD, have concluded that it meets the requirements of Energy Policy Act as low-cost alternative fuel source for the fleets of vehicles. So right then and there, they're saying that it's meet, it has met the low-cost alternative fuel source for their fleets of vehicles. Yet they're still not choosing to perpetuate it because it's, again, it goes against their fucking system of doing things and it would give us more power. And then it's like once you get into the hemp plant, people are going to start looking more into the hemp plant. They're going to realize that it can cure cancer, that it can build, that it's strong, that it can be made to be stronger than steel. You can make batteries out, you can make technology out of it. You can literally fucking bankrupt this whole fossil fuel, plastic, capitalistic bullshit society because anybody can grow hemp. So it takes away their power significantly. This is why it's been outlawed and blacklisted or it's not outlawed, but blacklisted. And some places it still is illegal, but for the most part, it seems to be, I think federally it's legally all over the country or I don't know. I got to look into that, but I know some states like Oregon, especially in others, it is very much legal, um, but still blacklisted as far as celebrities and certain deals that have been made and, and speaking about these things has its own consequences because again, it threatens their agenda, but that's just part of the way you got to play this shit, man. Cause you can't, expect to speak about things that are going to go against their whole agenda and not have any repercussions so all right the process of cellulose is required to make hemp ethanol that involves several stages cellulose con content must be pre-treated to make it hydrolysis compatible i'm not sure what that means the molecules are broken down into sugars using the enzyme cellulose. Uh, sugars are separated from the ling lignin responsible for the rigidity and wood woodiness of cell walls. Uh, sugar fermentation, ethanol distillation. Okay, so they're getting into the, the process of hip ethanol. Um, yeah, I might make some more videos on this. But again, all the information is here, man. I mean, it's I've been here. I've been sharing it with you guys. And it goes in. It's really specific too, especially when you get into like how it cures cancer and everything. The, the sciences are very intricate. There's a lot more that goes into hemp than just, I mean, just, than just hemp. Like there's terpenes, there's flavonoids, there's, there's receptors in the brain that have been there for a very long time that are specifically designed to interact with cannabis plants. 
So, I mean, this stuff has been around for a long time and humans have been around it for a long time and using it for a very long time and it's here for us if we choose to use it. So, all right, I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.